What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. It's been six months since the last time I post and I decided to get right back to it. So in today's video, we're gonna go out to Atlantic Station, uh, Atlantic City, New Jersey, and we're gonna see uh, Lil Dirk perform and we're gonna have a great time. So right now we're just waiting on our Uber. Uh, we're gonna head out to the airport and go see what Lil Dirk is out of perform. Um, I hope that he's gonna play Big Dog uh, from his new, his latest album. Um, Bria doesn't think that he's gonna perform that song, but I think that's like one of the best songs on the album. Um, but I'm just excited overall to see what he's gonna, what songs he's gonna perform. Yeah, we're about to go ahead and unload these bags and catch this one. down in Philly and right now I gotta record off my cell phone because uh, on a flight I realized that my SD card actually broke so I think the one while we're out here. We just got our bags and we're gonna make up our bags but I don't have that much time to um, for her to do it at the hotel so we're pretty much gonna just go drop our bags off and try to rush to the, um, the concert. So yeah, uh, we're about to catch the Uber because he said he was about to leave at 7 and it's 7 right now. late to the show so i'm just dropping off my bags um we're just gonna finish getting ready and we're just gonna you know try to catch whatever we can from the shop you know it's not ending anytime soon you know i just want to catch you know just a couple songs or a couple performances from Dirk, and i'll be good to be honest i don't even care about all the other people all right so Bria's taking forever so i'm just gonna go ahead and catch the the uber before they leave us um so i'm hurrying up down uh, where's the button at? I'm down to catch that. Dang, we're so late, man. I think I feel like the uh, event is gonna be over by the time we get there, if it's not already. But who knows? The thing is, it's at Boardwalk Hall, which is like right around the corner. But these streets are like long as hell, so um, we're taking the Uber. Yeah, I run through the lobby, I'm geeked on my body when I'm off the X, yeah. Every time I pop me a blue pill, you know, I just be calling my ex, yeah. Okay, I am just lying, I do not call no bitches, right, only do so text. Real almost got us kicked out the spot, because they didn't want us to have cameras. Yeah, I'm not calling for a low key, like, damn, we were so close, but they let us in. So we here, we in the arena floor, we about to see who's performing right now. All right, here we go, floor seats, floor seats. Oh, this Yeah, I'm gonna let you fail. 
So yeah, we're going to Harris, and um, they have ten percent military discount. So we was like, why not? They got ten percent on the drinks and on the food, um, and we're trying to hurry up and get there because they charge a hundred dollars for seating. Um, you know, once it starts getting busy, so if we get there early, we're hoping that you know we can just get a seat before they start charging people. So um, we got on our business suits. Go we'll check it out. So the Uber's downstairs. And I'll check out when we get out there. All right, so we're here at Harris now. Um, about to check out the pool. Um, it was crazy because our Uber driver actually works at Harris, so he was able to tell us, you know, about the area and um, how to get to the pool. And apparently, um, this is like one of the best pools in Atlantic City. Um, and they have a at the dark um, little uh, venue. Oh wait, where am I at? Damn, he just gave me a directions, and I forgot where to go. Yeah, you pretty much said you just walk in, keep to the left, and then it's gonna take you straight to the pool. But they got the nice casino. They got the nice casino right here. Yeah. 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 This is what it looks like. Um, yeah, they got the waterfall. All right, so we figure out where we're going now. Um, yeah, it's crazy how the hotels out here is a lot like Vegas. Um, I didn't really expect that. I heard it a lot, but I was like, they can't live up to Vegas. Now it's dirty, you know. Dirty jersey, but not nah, actually good. Um, dang, we just pretty much just trying to pop with the signs to the pool. It's, oh, here it is. Here it goes right here. Right, dang, it looks beautiful. All right, here we go. Is this the way in? I guess so. Oh. All right, y'all. So we're here at the pool. Not that many people here yet because it's, um, it's the early tell, so like 10 o'clock. But nice. I like, I like it. I like the scenery. Um, they have like a little tanning area back there, um, like lounge area. It's separated so the front, the front rows for the 700 members, and then um, all the other areas are pretty, pretty grab. So we're pretty much just waiting for a seat to so we'll grab stuff down and probably jump in. Uh, the bike's on the pool right now. All right, so Bri and I, uh, we just got the pictures over at. I got a cucumber margarita. Um, I don't know what I was thinking when I got it, but uh, it's pretty decent. It's not too bad. Uh, I'm contemplating getting in the water, but I don't see nobody else getting it. So I'm like, is, is there a reason for that? Like everybody just sitting around the pool. Um, Bria said nobody gets in the pool. To go to the pool to get in the pool. But so what's the point? I mean, there's so much more to do. Um, they got a casino right outside. So we could be making, we could be making this money. Um, so yeah, we're pretty much just chilling, um, going over the itinerary. Um, we're thinking about either hitting the beach, getting some funnel cake, or um, there's a lighthouse somewhere nearby. So um, we might just check that out, you know, just be tourists for a little bit until you know, later on tonight. All right, y'all, so we're just now leaving the pool area. And it's crazy because they, they start getting lit at like around 12. Um, the DJ showed up and then, yeah, they just packed out that fast. But, um, we already ordered the lift. We're gonna head back to Boardwalk and we're gonna hit up the bungalow. Um, it's a beach bar and um, I think they have pretty decent food. We're gonna see. Um, but they have hookah and all that stuff. And Bria wants hookah, so that's where, we, that's where we're headed. Um, we're trying to find my way out. That's one thing that I hate about these like casino hotels is that it takes forever to find an exit, man. Like, hey, like, you gotta walk past Helen Stores, you gotta go past the casino and all that. And it just takes forever, but um, yeah. We out here, we outside. It's lit. Alright, so we're here um, at Bungalow Beach. And we went through the city and it looks like raggedy out here. I'm not gonna lie. Like, there's a lot of condemned buildings. Um, it looked like, like a storm just came through Atlantic City and just destroyed most of the stuff here. But um, I feel like it has a lot of potential. Like, the places where like the tourists are, they look really nice. Like, 
feel like it has a lot of potential. But we're here. We're gonna eat and possibly hit the beach and get some food and whatnot. Go with the bungalow burger. Um, they have breakfast menu and then the lunch menu, but it's not that really, it's not that much diversity in the options. Um, as long as I got something heavy on my stomach, I know I feel like we're gonna be partying a lot tonight. So um, I'm just go with a burger. I was hoping for like steak or like lamb top. This is what it is. Um, but yeah, I'm flying by the beach. Places where you can take pictures and, and whatnot. So I went and got the bungalow burger, uh, french fries. I didn't do nothing extra. I should have added some bacon, but I ended up just going with uh, medium temperature. Maria got the same thing. And then we got the blueberry mint hookah. I hate that everywhere you go, you're gonna get one hose though. Like, dang. But it is what it is. Alright, so we just finished eating and we walking by and we found a little tattoo shop and Maria is about to go and get a tattoo. So, uh, not a tattoo, uh, she's getting a Tragus piercing, so I'm going to record that and yeah, um, I think I might get a tattoo too. Alright, here we go. Here we go, Tragus. <laughs> So Bria went and got her piercings. Why, why would I do that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if she has buyers or more or what, but she didn't get to choose her her um, piercing because it happened so fast. So they put a little hoop piercing piercing in there. Um, and they told her she has to keep it in for about a week and then she can change it out. But yeah, it was like so fast. We went in front of papers and they did it. And yeah, that was that. So now we're just walking up and down Boardwalk Hall. Um, a lot of people, a lot of tourists, a lot of shops. So we just wait the time to see what we're looking around. All right, y'all. So we made our way over to the beach now. Um, we're starting to feel like we're running out of stuff to do, but I, I totally forgot about the beach. Like, yeah, these different bars set up out here, and I didn't realize how like how nice it was out here. Like, I might even, I don't know. I'm kind of tempted to jump in the water now too. What you think? I kind of want to take towels from the hotel because it's like $30 for towels. Like that's, that's not right here. Um, but we don't live, we only live a mile, I mean, we don't live, our hotel is a, a mile away, so we can go snatch them up real quick and come back and it should be what it is, so. But yeah. Alright, so we ended up leaving the beach. Uh, they were charging four hundred dollars just for us to get in the pool, and I was like, "Damn, like four hundred dollars? <laughs> four hundred dollars to get in, man!" So um, we're just walking back to the hotel. We're gonna check out the outlet. Really don't want to, but I just want to just see. I just want to see. Just want to see. So we're gonna walk through. We're gonna head back to the hotel, regroup, figure out what we're gonna do the rest of the day. And I don't have any change. I'm sorry. You too. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's crazy out here, man. I, mean, I definitely look like a tourist, but yeah, so we're gonna walk back to the hotel and see what else we're gonna do today. And probably change clothes, so I'll catch y'all at the hotel because I wanna be aware of what's going on. Listen, I don't wanna buy snatch the phone, you feel me? But really don't care. She's like, I'm good anywhere I go. Like, I'm good anywhere I go. But pretty much, I want to at least end the night jumping in the pool, drinking, you know, having a good time. I don't need no nightclub and I just need the pool. The water. The water, sis. We got to get in the water. She don't want to be in the vlog, y'all. All right. All right. Good morning, y'all. It's the last day of our trip. And today we're going to Chicken Bone Beach. Um, I was just talking to Bria about how she said it. She said it's so funny. Like, it's like one word. She's like... Oh, we're going to Chickabone Beach. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we decided not to take a Uber this time. We're going to walk because it's less than a mile away. And like, it's a beautiful day outside. Like, the weather is awesome. 
It's warm outside with Jay walking right now, by the way. We're in the middle of the street. Brady's trying to get us killed. Um, but yeah, it feels so good outside right now. Got a nice breeze. Got that ocean breeze outside. So yeah, we out here. Um, it's our last day, so I'm not trying to go all out because yesterday was crazy. Yesterday was wild. We ended up going to the Kiss Kiss nightclub and it was just packed out. We probably had a little bit too much to drink. Well, I, I know definitely me because I've been trying to slow down. I'm getting older, my, my body can't keep up like it used to, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, uh, we're gonna check out Chicken Bone Beach. Chicken Bone Beach was um, supposedly um, back in the day when uh, things were segregated. It was the African-American beach. So um, we was like, all right, let's check it out. Let's see how it is. And kind of get like a history lesson out there. So hopefully we can learn some of the history of Chicken Bone Beach and have a good time. So more on that. All right, y'all. So we finally found it. Um, Bria had us lost. We was in some random neighborhood. She wanted to sit down some random stairs and get an Uber. And I was like, nah, we about to walk back, girl. Cause you're not about to have me get robbed or her snatched up. So we finally found it. Um, it's actually right here outside of Caesar Palace. Um, Chicken Bone Beach. There's not that much in the area. They have, let me turn around, um, the Sugar Factory, or it's Sugar. Um, and then the beach is right there behind me. So we're gonna walk around, see um, if you look further down the boardwalk. Oh, I can't see it. Further down the boardwalk, they have a Ferris wheel. So we're probably gonna hit that up and hop on the Ferris wheel too. So what you got to say for you? What you got to say for yourself? No, about that walk. Okay. <laughs> I'm in the military and I'm not in the military, so I'm not used to walking long walks and it being hot. So that's the mile. It was less than a mile, y'all. Okay. It was a mile. Both ways equaled up to a mile. That's so a half a mile, mile each way. But I was like, you can't, this is your legs. You can't move your legs. You move your legs all your life. Like, you should move walk that. So she got me carrying her purse. But it's like, we having a good time. We about to go ahead. Walking on to Chicken Bone Beach. It's crazy because we go around asking people um, if they knew about Chicken Bone Beach and nobody knows. So I wonder if this is just like a, either a social media thing or it's not. It's a piece of history that uh, most people don't know about because yeah, I keep asking them, everybody they're like Chicken Bone Beach. I never heard of that, but this is what it looks like, y'all. 